unboxing the infamous flipper zero the gadget that hacks geeks and right welcome to another hexbox video and today we are finally doing it and today we're going to be introducing the flipper zero so let's open it let's see what's inside of it and let's talk about it wow really cool design comes with a sd card reader which you can slot your micro sd card in there which is quite neat doesn't come always with a micro sd card so you might need it we have a little quick start manual what to expect as you can see quite nice <coughs> qr codes and everything so you can scan we have a cool little sticker you know where that's going oh my laptop we have a cool USB Type-C cable, if I'm not wrong. Yes, a Type-C cable, which is quite neat. You are going to need this. Let's put that aside. And the beautiful Flipper Zero. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. I like it. Right. So this is our Flipper Zero. And let's see how it works obviously when you get this flipper zero mine already has their sd card put in it i put it in already obviously i like to see things before just in case of the damage i can get a refund different little things you can add we did order a brand new dev board as well which is coming and more videos of madera software will be flashing to today no next video all right so let's peel off this satisfying stick i don't know if you guys can hear it this yep, the beat oh no database found on an SD card yes so when you get one of these first you are gonna have to flash it and update it you can if you have an iPhone for team Pro and other iPhones newer ones a little bit older ones I think uh, you can use the app for this to update things but you're very limited the best option would be is to have an Android phone which we do have and you can do way more then an iPhone cam. Obviously, Android's are better. Let's face it. So, okay. So let's go through the settings. Don't know how well you guys can see this. So we have our sub gigahertz. We got settings, plugins, UFT, bad USB, I button, GPIO, infrared, NFC. So we have so so many things. LCD and notification storage, power, desktop passport damn systems about it let's go about it yeah that's cool desktop yeah i like it so i'm not going to spoil too much of this video so what we're going to do in the next video is to show you guys because obviously you can use windows but we have ubuntu or kali linux vms so we're going to use that through our proxmox we're going to have to get a pass through from it and yeah we're going to go through that and we're going to flush it, we're going to update it, and we're going to have some fun with it. And I'll show you guys tips and tricks, how to do fun things with it, uh, when the dev board comes, with Wi-Fi attacks, Bluetooth attacks, and I'll show you how to do them as well. So enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.